Microsoft PowerPoint is a powerful presentation software that is used by millions of professionals for presenting ideas, lectures, tutorials, and posters. In this video, I'm going to get you up to speed with PowerPoint in 10 minutes. I'll see you in a bit. Hi. And welcome to Public Health Resources, where we provide useful tips for students, residents, and teachers to make them useful in solving our health problems. A PowerPoint presentation is made up of a series of slides which contain information you want to communicate to your audience. This information may include text, pictures, charts, videos, sounds, and more. In this quick video, we will be covering the essentials of using PowerPoint, including getting started with PowerPoint, its graphical user interface, adding and formatting slides, adding text and lists, inserting images, adding animations, and finally, we'll get our hands dirty with some quick presentation tips. Wow, pretty much for 10 minutes, right? Let's do this. Getting started with PowerPoint. There are several ways you can launch PowerPoint. If you have PowerPoint already, simply search for it in the Windows search bar and launch it. Otherwise, you can use a free version of PowerPoint online by just going to your browser and typing powerpoint.new and boom, you're ready to start using PowerPoint for free. Way to go, Microsoft. Now, when you launch PowerPoint, you'll be greeted by this homepage where you can either begin by using a quick template or start afresh by using a blank slide presentation. Let's click on a blank presentation to get started. The PowerPoint graphical user interface. The topmost part is called the title bar. Here you will see the name of the file that you have opened and by default it just says presentation 1. PowerPoint calls each file a presentation and this large area where I'm standing is the active slide and if you look to the left panel over there there is a mini version of this slide. We call this the thumbnail. Next is the menu bar, which is the bar just below the title bar. It contains tabs that have menu items displayed in the large area below it called the ribbon. Now, when you click on any of the tabs in the menu bar, it displays all the commands or menu items for that tab in the ribbon, okay? So each of these buttons is a command that instructs Excel to do something. And that's why it's called the command. So let's click on the home tab. Here, all the commands we see on this ribbon belongs to the home tab. Now, these commands are arranged in groups. And these groups are related commands put together for ease of use. You will see the name of the group at the bottom of each group. So there is the clipboard group and this is the font group. Now for some groups, you will find a launcher button at the bottom right corner. Clicking on the launcher button opens up a dialog box like this where you can find additional options not found in the ribbon. Now enough of this PowerPoint user interface. Let's create our first presentation, shall we? Adding and formatting slides. By default, when we start a blank presentation, the first slide in the presentation is the title slide. As usual, in the slide pane on the left, we see its thumbnail. To add another slide, just go under the home tab in the slides group and click on new slide. Now you can see we have two slide thumbnails. The one that is selected will be the one that is displayed here. That's the active slide. Let's add a third slide. Okay, same thing. Awesome. Now to delete a slide, just right click on the thumbnail and select delete slide. Easy peasy. Let's go on to add text to our presentation. Adding text and lists. So let's say we are creating a presentation on sampling in research. Notice that the default slide has two placeholder text boxes ready for the title and the subtitle. Let's add the title first. So we simply click on the title box and type it there. So we say sampling in research. Next, in the lower box, let's type the name of the presenter. And you guessed right. I'm sure you know who this person is. Okay, awesome. We're through with our title slide. Let's go on to our second slide. Okay, on this slide, we want to put our presentation outline. So let's type in the title text box outline. Great. Now, some placeholders automatically format text in a bulleted list, as bulleted lists are used frequently in PowerPoint. Remember, PowerPoint is a presentation software, all right? So we'll be mainly entering our presentation in points, but not just any kind of points. Power points, all right? Each point is supposed to carry power, all right? So the first point is the introduction. So we'll write introduction and press enter on the keyboard. This takes us to the next bullet automatically. Then let's type the next point, okay? So we want to say what is sampling, okay? So we'll type that and press enter again. Types of sampling, then press enter. How to sample, awesome. You see how easy it is? And finally, conclusion, easy peasy. Nice, we have a good presentation outline now, all right? But wait. Hmm, there's a problem. There's a big problem. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The size of this text is too small and I don't even like this font. How do we change it? Well, it's simple. Let me show you. Select the text or placeholder that needs to be changed. And to select a placeholder, just click on its outline like this. Now, if the outline is solid, it means the entire placeholder is already selected. All right, then let's go to the home tab and then to the font group. Okay, and then the font command. Let's then select a font from the resulting drop-down menu. I like Comic Sans fonts. 
So let's look for it and then select it. And boom, the whole text box has been formatted to this font. Nice. Now let's increase the font size by clicking on the font size down arrow and selecting the size we want from the drop down. Let's go for size um, 36. Awesome. You can go ahead and familiarize yourself with all the different commands under the font group. And if you want more features, don't forget to click the launcher button to reveal many other font features to make your text look great. Nice. Now what good will a presentation be if it had only text? Inserting images in PowerPoint. Now presentations look way better when there are good images that complement the text. And besides, adding images to a PowerPoint is super easy. To add an image from your computer, go to the insert tab, then the images group. Click on pictures command. In the drop down menu, select from this device. Then navigate to the pictures location on your computer. Let me just add a picture from my own computer and click on the image to select it. And then click on insert to add the image to the slide. Awesome. Now in most cases, you may need to resize the image. To do this, we use the resize handles, which appear as small shapes around the outer edges of the image when you click on it. So let's move the mouse over a resize handle. When the mouse cursor changes to a two-headed arrow like this, click and hold down the left mouse button and just use the handles at the edges to make the image smaller or larger. Now, this image can be rotated by clicking and dragging the white circle rotate handle. You can also move the image to whatever position you want it to be just by clicking on it with the cursor and then dragging it around like so, okay? Awesome, this is looking good already. Now, let's spice up the presentation even more by adding animations. PowerPoint has some powerful animations that make your presentation stand out and easy for your audience to follow. Because with animations, you can make the presentation elements appear one by one instead of just being at the screen all at once. The good thing is that with PowerPoint, you can animate anything on the slide. So assuming we wanted to make this text appear one after the other, as we mentioned them during the presentation, we just select the text box like before, then go to the animations tab and then we select the appear animation. Awesome. Now you'll see that each bullet now has a number that shows how it will appear when presenting. To preview the animations, you can go to the animations pane in the advanced animation group and click on play selected animations and boom, you see your animations. Awesome. Now let's add an animation to this image also. So we'll click on the image and then select the float uh, in animation. I like this one a lot. Now you can see we have number six in the image. This means that this is going to be the sixth object to be animated. Awesome. Now let's add some design to our presentation. Adding designs to PowerPoint. PowerPoint has inbuilt themes that make it easy to quickly improve the looks of your presentation. Just go to the design tab and select from any one of these awesome themes and there are a lot of them. But let's just select this one. Awesome. Already looking good, right? Now it's time to present. Let's do this. Entering presenter mode. After preparing your slide, you will want to present, right? To do this is easy peasy. You need to enter slideshow mode. So we'll go to the slideshow tab on the menu bar and under the start slideshow group on the ribbon, click on from the beginning and you see your beautiful presentation. So this is the title slide and to move to the next slide, just click on anywhere on the slide and you can see this is our second slide. And when we click on the slide again, we get our first animated text. We'll continue talking and then next and then next and we'll get our image just the way we want it. And to get out of presenter mode, we just press escape on our keyboard and we're out of presenter mode. Awesome. But wait, we made a huge mistake. We forgot to save. Huh. That's a huge error. Saving and closing PowerPoint. Ideally, as soon as you start creating your presentation, before even creating the second slide, the universal global best practice is to create a backup of your presentation. And I'm sure you know the reason why. Believe me, there have been many situations where presenters for a conference spend hours creating their presentations only to lose it just before the conference. Man, they messed up badly and the rest is history. So please back up your presentation now, 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 now. And don't even save it on your computer because your computer can decide to act funny <laughs> or even get stolen. So save it somewhere on the cloud, all right? You can use Dropbox or OneDrive or even Google Drive, okay? For me, you know I'm a Microsoft guy. So I use OneDrive, all right? Because it is already seamlessly integrated with my Office 365 account. And then I can access my presentation on any device and in anywhere on the globe. Awesome. So to save, just click on file and then save us. And you can see it's going straight to my personal OneDrive, okay? Then enter the name of the file. Then just click on save and we're set. Awesome. Now in 10 minutes, I have been able to bring you up to speed with PowerPoint and you're good to go. Okie dokie, added Choki. If you want to learn how to create awesome animations in PowerPoint, then you need to watch these videos here. Hey, 
And if you have gained value with this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, then consider subscribing to this channel and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified of my future videos. In my next video, God willing, I'll be showing you how to create an awesome scientific poster in PowerPoint. But until then, peace.